Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very dramatic game played in round 6 at 2019 Dutch Open Championship. With the white piece is playing Fide Master Reiner Odendal and his opponent is chess grandmaster Vyacheslav Ikonnikov. But before starting our game first consider subscribing in order not to miss my future uploads. And now without further ado let's get started with this fascinating game and see what happened on the board. Reiner opened up with c4 and Ikonikov responded with c5. We have the symmetrical English opening g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, knight f3, knight c6, white castles kingside, d6, knight c3, e6, d3, knight e7, rook b1, white is preparing an advancement on the queen side, meanwhile black also castles kingside, bishop d2, b6, a3, bishop b7 and b4. Here we have queen d7, black is connecting his rooks, queen a4 and h6. As white is trying to organize his game on the queen side, meanwhile black will try to counterattack on the king side, rook c1, g5, e3, rook d8, h4 and g4. This move is like locking up the king side, but still black can go for f5, f4 advancement, which can allow black to proceed with the attack. Here we have knight g6 by black and queen d1 which looks very dubious. Well, first white played queen a4 and then queen d1. Instead it was better to go for e4, but in our game we have queen d1 and after f5 this time we have queen e2. White is going for a very dubious queen maneuver, believe it or not, but after rook f8 this time Reiner played queen f1 and guys, I really don't like this queen maneuver and all this looks very dubious. Rook c8, knight b5, bishop a8, bishop c3, e5, black is preparing this f4 move, b takes c5, d takes c5, bishop a1 and there it goes, f4 is on the board. Black has a really very dangerous attack, bishop d5 check, king h8, queen e2 and f3. Well. Another move which is locking up the king side, but as white has a very vulnerable h4 pawn, later black can target it and blow into pieces white's king side, queen c2 and knight e7. Well, according to the engine at this point already it was high time to go for knight takes h4 sacrifice and then play knight e7. With this move, black is first getting rid of white's light squared bishop. After g3, there will be no bishop takes f3 moves. And then black can go for g3. And yes, guys, black's position is totally winning. Let's go back, but in our game after queen c2, we have knight e7, bishop e4, knight f5. And white went for bishop takes f5, got rid of black's active knight. Knight c3, rook f7, knight e4, knight e7. Rook d1, meanwhile black is bringing his second knight on f5 square in order to target this pawn. Queen b3 and rook c f8. Well, it turns out that not only the pawn on h4 can be a target, but also the pawn on e3. So instead of playing rook c f8, black could go for knight takes e3 move. And this is very suspicious, guys. Why didn't Ikonikov go for this move? This is allowing him to win the game easily and then he's removing this knight and then he's going for f2 check. This is going to be an easy win, guys. White can't save this position, black has a ferocious attack. But in our game after queen b3 we have rook f8, knight c2 and finally we have knight takes h4. Finally knight takes h4 move is on the board which allows black to push forward the g pawn and then penetrate white's camp. By the way, I have to tell you that instead of playing g3, bishop takes e4 is also winning, followed by queen e7. But in our game we have g3, knight takes g3, queen h3, black is creating a direct mating threat. Now all white can do is to cover the g2 square. And it was in here that Vyacheslav Ikonnikov made a terrible blunder and went for a queen sacrifice guys he went for an unsound queen sacrifice and what is more interesting reiner odendal resigned he white resigned in here but it turns out that the one who is winning is white well guys i have to tell you that there was no need to go for queen takes g3 
Instead, black could capture on h4 and then later could bring into life this h5, h4 idea, either by placing the queen on h3 or on g4, depending the situation. Black is going to win, but in our game after knight d1, we have queen takes g3, check and white resigned. But the thing is that, guys, how on earth are you going to win? I have to tell you guys that when I first saw this position, I was just asking myself, but after f takes g3, how is black going to win? And there was no answer. So then I checked up with my engine and it turns out that there is no win for black. This queen takes g3 sacrifice is a total blunder. For example, now if you go for f2 check, then king f1 and just no way to make a progress. You have only a bishop against the queen and white's position is totally winning. Of course, you can announce some checks, but in the end of the day, just no way out. White's position is super solid. Even instead of playing king c1, white can play king c3. Typical discover checks are not dangerous. d4 and again, white is winning. Probably this queen sacrifice made by a Grandmaster made such a huge psychological effect on Reiner Odendal that he decided to resign without even checking the upcoming lines carefully. As you know, chess history knows a lot of typical examples where one side resigns having a totally winning position. Here is a chess puzzle which is taken from a game played between Carlos Torre Repetto and Frank Parker. In here Torre who was playing with the white pieces resigned, not managing to find the winning move. But unlike our main game in here, finding the winning move is more difficult because in our game all white needs to do is to accept the queen sacrifice. And in here guys the task is to find the winning move for white. And I will wait for your answer in the comment section. You will be proud of yourself if you can find that fantastic move. Well, thanks for watching, dear chess lovers. Never, never give up without a tough resistance. There is always a chance, you know. And I will see you in my next video with another crazy game. Take care.